So do the dolls in your dollhouse need something for dessert? Today I'll show you how to make these cute little tarts and they can either be a little individual size pie for your 112 scale dollhouse or Barbie can enjoy them as cookies. So stay tuned and see just how easy it is to make a chocolate pie, a lemon pie, an orange pie, a strawberry, or a grape or blueberry. It's up to you. Use your imagination and come up with the colors that you think your dolls want to eat today. All right, first let's talk about what we need to make our project. We're gonna need some, some clay that's about the right color for a pie crust. This is a, a slightly off-white and I added just a touch of yellow to it. That's our pie crust. You'll need to be able to roll that out really thin and even. You'll need to be able to cut it into a circle and this is a 5 16 inch clay cutter. You need something about that size. And what we're forming these in are these little washers. And this is the package they came in. They're called number six finish washers. And they're just the perfect size and shape to make little tiny tart shells. And they're a lot of fun. We need some cornstarch so things don't stick. And I use this brush usually to apply my cornstarch. Today I'm actually using the end of the handle. You'll see how in a minute. You also will need a craft knife. You'll need some yellow ochre colored chalk to brown up your crust and make it look like it's been baked. You'll also need a brush to apply that with. And today we'll also be using some liquid Fimo. And we'll need to color that liquid Fimo. And I'm using chalks today. I also have a red one out. I didn't grab my red one. But whatever colors of chalk you want your fillings to be, that's up to you. We'll talk about that a little bit, but it can be any flavor. You can do chocolate or lemon or orange or, I don't know, is that grape or is that blueberry? I don't know. I had a red one out earlier. Whatever color you want. You'll need a baking surface. And that's really, I think, about all we need. Oh, you'll need also a pointed tool. You'll need like a dental pick or a pin or a toothpick, something with a good sharp point so that you can make the edging design. So stay tuned and see how we use all these things to make a really fun and easy project that either the dolls in your dollhouse or Barbie can enjoy today. All right, I'm gonna, I've rolled my clay out. It's on, been on a fairly thin setting on my pasta machine. And I dip my cutter down in my cornstarch. That way it won't stick as badly. Let's see if I can just knock everything down on my table. And you're going to need one circle for each one of these you're going to make. I'm just going to make a couple now and I'll make more then off, off camera. I'm going to take these little wa a little washer, put a piece of clay right on top of it. Then I'm going to take the handle of my brush. This is a, just a Dollar Tree blush brush. And I find it has the perfect size handle. The end of the handle is the perfect size. I dipped it in cornstarch. I'm just going to do that. We're just making just a nice rounded space for our filling to go in. And it's okay if the inside of this isn't perfect because it's not really going to show. And if they're a little not even, you know, a little off centered in your thing, you can always pull them out and redo them. Alright, so when we get those done brush the extra cornstarch off because I don't want a bunch of cornstarch on it. I'm going to take a dental pick. And there's a lot of ways you can mark the edges. You can do just a, go around it. Basically you want it to look like the edge of a tart shell or a pie shell since that's what it is. So. You can get as fancy or as plain as you want. It should have some kind of flattening out, but it's up to you. And you can also use a pin if you don't have a dental pick. You can use a pin or a needle, whatever you've got that's got a small tip on it like this. You could use a toothpick probably too. 
and only the very edge is going to show. So I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to do this one, and then I'll go ahead and show you how to color. Now, I've got just some yellow ochre chalk. That's this color. Just a golden yellow or yellow ochre. It's what I, what I use on most of my baked goods. We don't want this to be very dark. It's not like bread or something like that. It's just very lightly and just around the edges. So you don't need to go down in that center because that's not going to show. Just highlight the very edge and not too much. Kind of knock off the extra chalk. Okay, I'm going to make a few more of these and I'll bake them off according to the package directions on my clay and then I'll be back. All right, next we are going to make some filling for our little tarts. And I'm going to show you one color. I've already made a couple made up three, four other colors. I'm going to make up an orange one right now though. For this I'm using just liquid Fimo. You could use um, the liquid Sculpey. It doesn't matter for this project. Um, Fimo is a little more clear where the liquid Sculpey is not quite as clear. So, <clears throat> And for this I'm just using some chalk. So I'm going to use my craft knife and just scrape in some orange. I'm going to make an orange one this time. And you just mix it in. Now you can use oil paint to color this. You can use um, clay. You can use the chalk. Um, <clears throat> you shouldn't really use water-based products so like food coloring or acrylic paint. Um, uh, if you go right to the Sculpey website, they'll tell you that right on the website on their cautions that you shouldn't use anything that's water-based because it's not meant to go in. These are not meant to be mixed with water-based paints, water-based products. And then just drip it in. <clears throat> and I like to use the same toothpick that I mixed it with to drip it in. You're going to want to fill it up pretty well. I should have made more. I didn't make enough there. I'll have to get more out later. And I like to mix them in bottle caps because I can just throw that away. I don't feel guilty throwing away a, a used bottle cap. Okay, so there's an orange one. I have some red that I mixed up earlier. And this is the same as just red chalk mixed in with the liquid Fimo. Now if you don't have liquid, the liquid um, clays, you could also use glass stain paint would be work would work nicely in here. Um, after everything's baked, since you're not going to bake this again, if you use that. If you use the liquid clay, of course, you have to bake this again. And I've got some yellow I made, so it makes like a lemon tart. I love this color of this yellow. I think that is really a pretty yellow. I'll do these a little more. I'll show you the other colors I made though. I made a, also made this pretty purple and I have a, a brown one for, cho for uh, chocolate. So I'm going to fill the rest of these up. I'll bake them off and then I'll show you how they look when they're done. I'll show you how we finish them too. Okay, so they're all baked and cooled and I've popped a few out. I'll show you how to pop them out. They're really simple. Just have a little hole at the bottom. Just, sometimes you have to this one is stuck, so that's okay. Just take a little craft knife very carefully 
If you're not comfortable using a knife, you might have an adult help you with this. If you're a kid, have, have an adult help you. But you're using a knife really close to your fingers. Come on. There we go. See how it's pushed on it? And it popped out. We've got lots. Let's see if I can get closer in with the camera. Let's see how cute these really are. I'll take another one out. If you press too hard, sometimes you have to trim off the bottoms, but that's all there is to it. They're kind of fun to pop out. It's kind of relaxing. Just kind of pop them out. But that's how easy they are. And now that they're all done, I'll get the rest out and I'll go take a picture with uh, Mrs. Dahl and her tart. And I'll also get a picture with Barbie and her cookies. And uh, let you see how they look in scene. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Remember, find us on Facebook if you haven't already. Feel free to post some pictures over there of what you've done. And be sure and ask for the videos you want to see. Because I want to make the I want to make things that you want to see. So be sure and ask. Until next time, have fun with your minis. I'll talk to you later. Bye.